chapter three. Farther down the shore. Wow! Look at all this kelp and driftwood. It must be low tide, which is why we can see all this stuff. The tides, high tide, and low tide, are caused by the moon's gravity pulling on the Earth's water. And up there, seagulls. They can probably see the whole beach from up there. Excuse me. Hey, hey, hey! I'm Cindy. What's hanging? Oh, um, nothing is hanging. It's slang for what's going on. Cindy, seagull, favorite pastime. Surfing waves. Favorite color? Sky blue. Have you seen a hermit crab named Fred? Usually, the hermit crabs visit the shore looking for shells. Nod, nod. But I haven't seen many shells at all lately. All the sea animals are talking about it. That's a clue. Clues number one: Hermit crabs live down the shore where the good shells are. Number two: Shell shortage. I saw one crab this morning, but I don't think he had a shell. Hmm. What? Aha! I just remembered something. Let me check what the encyclopedia I got from Mary says. Hermit crabs, hermit crabs require regular access to salt water or fresh water. Common marine hermit crabs live right on shorelines. Where the water meets the sand. Let's check the shoreline. Hop. Aha. Are you? Fred's the name. We found you. Cindy must have seen you earlier this morning. Scuttle. You must be Shelby and Watts. Fred. Hermit crab, current mood, very squished. Favorite color, red. It's been so hard since the shells have gone missing. If I don't find a new bigger shell, I won't be able to grow. It's dangerous without a shell. I'm not protected from predators. You have no idea where they've gone. Nope. Don't worry, Fred. We're on the case. Maybe you could check the tide pools. Great idea. Thanks, Fred. We'll figure out what happened to the shells. Shelby and Watts on the case.